This is a, a post, one of the greatest musical minds of the 20th century has passed on to the other side to play in the great celestial bands in the cosmos. He has left this planet Earth and his name is uh, Bill Dixon. And I want to congratulate to have known this man had a profound effect upon my generation of musicians. Uh, an integrity that would be unmastered. Bill Dixon's contributions to music and to art, the art of music actually. That's the difference between the art of music an artist is a reflection of um, freedom and expression in the area of sound and Bill Dixon <coughs> being an artist as a visual artist as well as a sound artist as well as a poet had a profound effect upon the concepts that we have now in performance of music. He accelerated in several areas in which not just being a, a trumpet player an artist at work on his sound and the way he uh, made that some trumpet sound. I had a profound experience of working with him when I was uh, early in my career. <coughs> and this effect, <coughs> because we shared commonly I idea that music was an art form. And that was difficult for people to understand improvised music as an art form. What people call jazz. Bill was very deeply involved in Afro-American cultural concepts. in America. Um, <clears throat> why he didn't like the word jazz as a word or he called his music black music I prefer to call it Afro-American musical concepts since Bill's heritage is in America. He truly reflects the American spirit, individuality, integrity, the idea that a person could be an artist. And he worked in many different areas, profound that he didn't receive in his lifetime <coughs> the kind of recognition that he probably deserves but that doesn't make any difference we all loved him and recognition among your fellow creators is more important I guess but he would like to have had a much more profound effect by performing his music more often. But since America did not <laughs> recognize that, or the American people for that fact, <laughs> the American people are responsible for performance of music. 
uh, since I was raised in a cultural environment in which excellency in performance and artistic integrity was what I was about. And to know Bill and to work with him over the years that we had worked together in the early 60s, later in the 70s, my own work had a circle around his idea of the Jazz Composers Guild, which I was a founding member with him, and the Freeform Improvisation Ensemble, and to deal with freely improvisatorial music. Uh, the idea that music could be performed freely that this improvisation was part of a greater whole. And uh, so now the Jazz Composers Guild has lost its founder. And as a member of the Jazz Composers Guild and working with Bill on several projects, especially we worked together with Judith Dunn, who was a great dancer, and he pioneered in this area, which he has not been recognized for music, for dance, music for film, his music, and us playing with him. Uh, he lived a rich life, I assume, I know, in the mind. So I will be making, right now on WKCR, they are playing his music. And uh, so I'm making this post on Bill Dixon, the great mind, the great artist, great friend challenging. We had a lot of disagreements, but those disagreements were character-wise. God bless you, and we'll be listening to your music now, because now we have a body of your works, and I'm sure that with the World Wide Web, uh, we will continue to play your music and I hope that people will recognize that. To Bill Dixon, great mind, stay cool, stay out there where you are. It's not goodbye, it's the beginning. I'll see you later.